guys so it is officially summertime even though here in Bama it's been feeling like summertime since I don't know March or April officially by the calendar on June 20th it was summertime so I wanted to share with you guys some stuff that I use on my face to help me stay as matte as long as possible now I have extremely extremely oily skin and it it's horrible to deal with and I know they say that later on in life you will be happy because you have less wrinkles and all that kind of stuff but I'm like oh, it's so annoying right now so there are some stuff that I like to put on my face and use to make sure I stay as matte as long as possible my face never stays matte all day I'm just you know there's just something I've gotten used to I've accepted about my skin I'm never gonna stay matte all day and not have to touch up but these things help me prevent touching up as early as possible so the first thing is a moisturizer now I use my clean and clear the acne advantage moisturizer with SPF ladies oily skin ladies we have to moisturize I know that it seems like it's kind of a backwards thing or it seems like why am I moisturizing? My face is just going to get oily anyway. Well, when you don't moisturize, you know, your face is like, oh my God, I'm dry. Send more oil out, you know? So we don't want that. You definitely want to make your skin feel like it's hydrated enough to where it doesn't have to produce more oil to send out to your face and you become oily quicker. So make sure you moisturize. That's something that definitely helps keep my skin matte. I know this my skin acting differently when I don't moisturize enough and also like this has SPF 15 in it okay this is a good way to get your sunscreen in to help protect your face to make sure that you, you know, don't get skin cancer make sure you don't get any darker your dark pigmentations on your face don't get any darker you know all that helps so make sure you use moisturizer if you want you can use a mattifying moisturizer and they do have those out, out there. Some are Sephora. I have seen Clean and Clear, I think, have one as well. So, you know, if you want like a mattifying type moisturizer, they have those out there. Just make sure you moisturize. Another thing I use is my Mickle Magnesia. And I think I've done a video talking about this before. But this is just the Equate version. You can get any um, name brand version. It does not have to be. I mean, you can get any store brand version. It doesn't have to be name brand at all. Just make sure it's the regular flavor unless you want to be smelling like strawberries and mint on your face. And if you do, then, you know, that's just you that you could like those scents. I mean, hey. But me, I like the original scent, the ones that don't smell like anything. So, all you do is you just take this and put it on a cotton ball. And I just put it on my T-zone. I don't put it all over my face. I put it on my cheeks, on my nose, and on my forehead. And maybe sometimes on my chin but yeah that's all the place I put it next thing I use on my face is a mattifying primer now this is my Cores mattifying primer and I talk about this in almost every video when I'm talking about my face this primer you guys is just amazing I love it to death you don't necessarily have to use this mattifying primer there are lots out there there are some that's worked for me and there's some that have it this one works for me this is not a silicone based type primer I'll show you how it looks it's just it comes out yellowy and then you just rub it in and it rubs into your skin like that just simple so yeah and it helps keep your face matte I don't know how it does it I don't know I don't know I don't know how it does it I couldn't tell you but I know it is a mattifying primer and it does what it's supposed to do Okay, so if you're actually going to be wearing foundation during the hotter months, make sure you wear a foundation that is made to help mattify you. Mash Master has marketed itself as being a foundation that helps control your oil. Also, I've been using, I have to get another tube of it, but the Clinique Stay Matte Oil Free Foundation is really good. I know NARS Matte has one, although that one doesn't work as well for me because it gives like a dewy matte or a semi matte finish. That's not the kind of finish I want. I want a like matte matte finish. And I know a lot of people don't like that. But yeah, some people don't like the 
completely matte face. I guess people think you look dead or dry or whatever. I don't think so. Um, right now, my face is pretty matte. I will actually powder it a little bit more if I could. But yeah, get a, a matte foundation. That definitely helps for you to do an oil-free foundation. Something that's made for oily skin. Definitely get that. So throughout the day, like I said, my face doesn't stay matte completely. I always have to touch up and I always have to make sure that, you know, I make sure my face is matte. So I always keep these in my makeup bag. You saw in my video and it's the e.l.f. shine eraser um, little pad things. And these are awesome. They're a dollar. You can get them from Target. I think Kmart sells them. You can also get them online at the ELF website. But these, you don't necessarily have to get ELF ones. These are just cheaper. And I think 100 comes in here. No, 50 comes in here for a dollar. And they're just little sheets like this. And it doesn't have any powder on them. And what I do is I usually do my cheeks. And you just do it. And you can see the oil on there. And you just pat your face. And then that way, just make sure that you're getting all the oil off. And I love these sheets for that. So many brands make them. Uh, Neutrogena makes it. I think Clean and Clear makes them. So many different brands. So just find the brand that works for you. And some of them have powder on it and some of them don't. So make sure that you know that when you're buying it, make sure you know which ones have the powder on it and if that works for your face or not. Most of the time after I do the e.l.f. eraser sheets, I put on one of my Madden Fine powders. And this one right here is from CoverGirl Queen collection and it is their stay matte what's the name of it lasting matte press powder and I just keep this in my bag with me and use like a brush or a powder puff and just you know just go dot back over the areas that I used that little sheet for just because I just want some more coverage just to make sure that you know I'm covered and make sure that a mattifying powder is on my skin. You can also use this to set your foundation if you want to. If you want it all over your skin, you can do this. I use another powder to set my foundation just because I just use this for touch up. So if you want to use this to set your foundation, you can, but just make sure to um, have something like this in your purse just so you can have something to touch up with throughout the day. So that was all the stuff I use most of the time to make sure my face stays matte throughout the day. Um, you want to always get stuff that says matte. Always get stuff that says oil free. Always get stuff that says that make sure you know that they're for oily skin girls and make sure that you know that it's going to help your face stay matte. Now like I said before, everything that says matte or mattifying is not going to work for you. You honestly have to try it and use it and see if it actually works for you. Like the NARS NARS Sheer Matte Foundation, I think it was, didn't work for me. I didn't like it and I wish I would have known about being able to get a sample before I bought it, but hey, you know, toss that to the game, whatever. Um, so yeah, just make sure you go and get a sample of stuff if you see it at Sephora and you want you don't want to invest that much money in it because I mean, you know, it may not work, but then again it might. So try it out. And make sure you get stuff that says matte and definitely get you some shine eraser sheets and some matte, mattifying pressed powder. Urban Decay also has a de-slick in the tube and they also have a de-slick spray. Now, I really didn't find those working for me that well. I, they have a de-slick pressed powder compact thing as well. It's translucent and all that kind of stuff. But I didn't find those working very well for me. Um, I just, I mean, I guess... It kind of worked, but it, not enough for me to continue to use. I still have them in case I want to pull them out and try them again maybe later and maybe, you know, see if they work for me. But when I tried them a little while ago, they didn't work for me. But they also, like I said, have the, the Slick in a tube, which is like a, a creamy gel formula that you put on your on your face. And then they also have the D Slick spray, and they also have the pressed powder. So. You can always go and you know check those out as well. And many brands have block powders and press powders and stuff to help you, you know, mattify your skin. So just test out which ones work for you. Those are the ones that work for me. They might work for you. 
And if they do, great. I'm really excited. I'm happy for you. But if they don't, you know, just keep testing out stuff. I had to try different stuff to see which one works for me. So it's kind of trial and error in makeup. Keep your face matte, girls. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye.